Hey, 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 scrappy people. It's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with another DIY your scraps video. And today I am working with the Coco Daisy Simon and Betty collection, which is their cute, nerdy Valentine's Day collection. And this first card I'm making is with Simon and Betty themselves. So I'm going to make a bunch of cards in this video. Um, three 4x6 cards and nine 3x4 cards. I was on a roll and didn't want to stop. Um, so yeah, I, I made a lot. So this video is a little bit longer than the usual, but it has a bit more inspiration too. So I hope you'll stick with it. This first one, I was initially going to make um, clusters and cards, so this first one I was working into a cluster, but I wasn't actually feeling it, so I decided to just make it into a card instead. So I'm gonna, uh, I have a bunch of trimmed down paper on the left hand side, or the right hand side here, um, that I've already made into four by six cards, so I will be pulling from those um, as we go along to start making a bunch of these cards. So I get out my heart punch because that's perfect for this Valentine's Day theme and I do two hearts in two different sizes and I loved the contrast of that blue and green for this um, like lovey-dovey feeling because I love that the colors are different than your typical Valentine's Day colors but also you still have the pinks and reds on this card so um, it works both ways for both the traditional colors and the non-traditional colors. Plus the card in the background is rainbow, so pulling in all of those colors was super easy. Alright, I'm going to add a washi tape little strip here, a little flag. It was, I had this washi tape pulled out to use it more often, but I only end up using it this once, which is a bummer. I always want to use my washi tape up more than I end up using it. You get these big old beautiful rolls, and then you use just a little bit here and a little bit there, and it takes forever to use it all up. So, I'm going to add this cute little conversation heart, and that one is all set. So, I'm going to now move on to the next card, and I pull out this these paper strips that I had pulled aside. And I said that they would look cute with this half and half card here, so I'm going to make a couple of notched banners for the left hand side. Now I'm going to do a little bit, something a little bit different with my cards this time than I normally do. And instead of making journaling spots this time, I'm going to be making photo frames. So places for the photo, like mats for the photos to rest. So for this one, I am going to pull in um, this yellow paper right here. And I normally print my square photos at two and a half by two and a half. So I'm going to trim this to three by three, or actually I think I made it, mm, I'm not sure. I don't think that's quite three by three, something like that. <laughs> just because I know the sizes that I normally print things at, so I'm just preparing for things to be super easy for me so that I know like I can print this on a square and it's going to fit and I don't have to worry about the card. I'm going to put these acrylic hearts on here as well. The kits this month came with a few acrylic pieces and I want to make sure that I use them up today because I don't actually tend to use acrylic that much. It's not my favorite um, scrapbooking medium because it's so thick and heavy but I do want to use them up so it doesn't just sit in my stash. So I'm going to use those hearts and I'm going to use um, a big wordy piece as well today. So this card I decided to cut circles out of the cute pink paper and I trimmed it down to a 3x4 and I left little triangles there to point at love you. So that's kind of what I'm trying to design this card around is that love you specifically in that place so that the arrows point at it. So I'm going to actually fuss with this card quite a bit because I couldn't get these circles anywhere that made sense and I actually liked for a little while. So I'm going to pull things up and I'm going to move them around and eventually I settle on something that I like but it takes me a minute and I always leave that process in here as much as possible because um, 
I like I like showing that even though you know I make geez, I make almost a video a day for YouTube so I scrapbook a lot and even though I scrapbook a ton I still you know struggle with things just like everybody else <laughs> the struggle is part of the process right I decided I wanted to flip this one over and not use the side that I had previously planned to use so I just ran my finger over the tape until it came off and then flipped it over. I'm going to add these two little conversation hearts to this card. Call it good. Next. You can see me tapping my fingers as I think to myself, next. <laughs> what am I doing next? So I thought about using this as a 4x6 card, but it couldn't make that talk nerdy to me work. Um, and then I still don't, I don't end up using the talk nerdy to me on this card anyway. <laughs> but I trimmed down that piece of paper that I had been cutting circles from because I didn't want it to go to waste and it was exactly three, uh, three by four. So that was a close call, but I got it perfectly on there. And this is actually packaging. This is um, backing from a die cut package. And I really thought that it was adorable. So I cut out the circles in two different sizes. Now I was going to use this chipboard piece, but I changed my mind and decided to use this heart instead. It says, you have my heart, and I thought it was um, good to have a different shape there instead of all circles. So, but I do fuss with it a little bit because um, it wasn't quite feeling balanced for me, and I didn't have anything that I could add to it that would make it more balanced. So what I end up doing is I'm going to get out my stamps and I'm going to use this little heart stamp and some gray ink and I'm going to stamp a few gray hearts in the top and bottom spaces to give it a little bit more of a, like a diagonal balance. And I end up liking the way that that came out. So it was perfect. And I actually used a stamp. Woohoo! <laughs> Next. I'm going to work on, ooh, a stripey card. Okay, so this one, I had all these coffee cups, and I think that these were from the printable. I'm using a bunch of stuff from the printables in this um, video. But I had all these rainbow of coffee cups, and so I'm going to put them all down. And I hadn't decided yet that I was going to do photo mats instead of journaling mats. So what I start to do is I have this piece of, graph paper from the Traveler's Notebook kit that I've already taken apart so I didn't use this um, this Traveler's Notebook insert page. So I've trimmed it down and I was going to add it as two journaling strips and I'm going to add a title um, on the side that says let's do coffee and so I start adding my title in with these gray letter stickers and I decide that I don't want those journaling strips anymore and instead I've cut down a square for a photo mat and then I had like this little piece of paper left over because it was initially a 3x4 size and I decided I'm just going to layer them both on this card as a um, paper mat and tuck it right underneath you don't even know that it wasn't a full piece of paper then I decide I'm gonna need, I need one more and I'm going to pull this one in as well. So it's kind of a cascading series of paper strips. Making sure that they're going underneath the coffee cups instead of on top. There we go. Then I add a couple of these cute, cute word strips to the side and call that one good. Okay, I have this little word art that I want to use that says let's let's be friends forever because I have a specific layout in mind with my Tennessee bestie so I want to make sure that I use this and I want to layer it on this tag but I didn't like the front of the tag I mean there's a bunch of these tags in the Simon and Betty collection and this one specifically said not loving that and there was another one that said not loving this so I felt like I could sacrifice one to the um, scrapbooking gods <laughs> and flip it over and instead I'm going to cover it with these cute paper strips that I have sitting 
I love using, this is the whole point of this series. I love using up my scraps. I love using up the paper strips that get trimmed off of these um, six by eight and a half papers, or I guess six by eight and a quarter papers in these kits. So I'm gonna create this paper strip happy tag. I need one more for the top here. This blue one, so that'll work. Arrows pointing down, of course. And I'm just going to trim off that bottom. There we go. So now I can layer the Let's Be Friends Forever on top of that tag. And I get out some yellow baker's twine. And I got this baker's twine from the Dollar Tree. So it is super thin compared to normal baker's twine. So what I initially do is I tie like a double bow so that... Um, the bow itself will be thicker, but I don't love the way that this comes out. It leaves like this really weird big knot. So I leave it there for a second and then I'm going to retie it in a minute. So I've got this Let's Be Friends. I thought about adding the tab, but no, I don't want to add the tab. It's cute the way it is, but I need to retie this bow. <laughs> so I'm going to do that and then this card will be good. I do still end up tying a sort of double bow. But it's a lot cleaner. Cute. Next. <laughs> so now I have all of these cards that I had sort of sitting on the side here um, waiting to be used. I had sort of pre-planned it, just kind of like layered things together. But that my planning totally goes off the rails at this point. Like anything that I had thought I was going to do, I change up. So I have this acrylic piece that says love with all your heart. So I put that big pink heart from the printables in the background over that red card. And I love it. I was going to add something at the top here because it's field, it field, it field, it felt a little bit um, blank up there, but I changed my mind. And I cut out some hearts with these, uh, with this heart punch, and wow, I decided that that looked great. <laughs> that was my discard, but it looked so cute that I decided it needed to be backed with that red. So I'm going to use these hearts here for a Happy Valentine's Day card, and it says Let's Celebrate, and I'm going to change it to say or I'm going to add to it so that it says, let's celebrate us. But I'm going to have to move all of these little word bits around to make it all work. So moving things up, moving things up more. <laughs> now I'm going to add us in with letter stickers right underneath. But then I decide that I need something more here in that like left-hand side. So I'm kind of auditioning things. And I decide on this arrow, so I'm going to wrap the arrow around the two word bits. And when I do that, I need to move the us. I'm going to trim off the top so it's not going over the Valentine word. I'm going to move the us over. There we go. It's a little bit harder to read on camera than it is in real life because it's going over that black heart. So I'm going to just glue these two together and put this I love you in the heart. Call that one good. <laughs> Probably add to it when I actually use it. But I think it's a good starting place. Cutting down more of this paper that I love. And for this one, I'm going to um, add in some this XOXO and some other word bits. But I feel like it needs something. So what I end up doing is pulling in some more paper strips in pink and red right underneath the cluster just to match those hearts. I initially was going to offset the red strip but I decided I wanted it fully across the 3x4 instead. Cluster these a little bit closer together. Call that one good. Just adding my little valentine to this one and a photo mat. This will obviously be for one of my little valentines. I decided to make this photo mat three and a half by three and a half to add a three by three photo on. 
since I had so much extra space. I'm going to tuck it right underneath this My Little Valentine. And I'm going to add a little conversation heart up to the top corner in a nice neutral color. And the very last card that I'm working on here, I felt like I needed to really just fill up that space. <laughs> so I'm pulling, pulling a paper that I had sitting there to the side, cutting it down to three by four. And then actually what's funny is this one becomes one of my favorites. I'm going to make another Simon and Betty card with that talk nerdy to me. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit off camera here. Um, I boxed myself into a corner down here. But I'm going to put Simon and Betty on this card and then all of these cute little nerdy icons that I had from the printable planner stuff that I just fussy cut out. And both Simon and Betty are saying something nerdy. So I thought the talk nerdy to me would be perfect with those cute little printables. And then I'm just going to use the little um, science-y things to reinforce the whole nerdiness of the card. And I really love the way that all of these came out. I'm going to zoom out here in a second after this glue dries so that you can see all of them. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And if you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I am at Tracy M. Reed. Thank you.